Hello, my name is Jim Johnston, Principal Engineer and Business Director for Bath Process Safety Management located in Corpus Christi, Texas. We have created a set of informative videos in order to provide you with a basic understanding of various codes and recommended practices that relates to process electrical safety. We hope you find these videos informative and insightful. Should you have any questions or comments, please feel free to direct those comments to our website at www.bathpsm.com. What are Bath Process Safety Management's best practices in performing hazardous area classification assessments and the associated benefits? This is a great question and one I am often asked. The methodology for performing hazardous area classifications can be found in API RP500, which is the recommended practice for classification of locations for electrical installation at petroleum facilities classified as Class 1, Division 1, and Division 2 and in NFPA 497, the recommended practice for the classification of flammable liquids, gases or vapors, and of hazardous classified locations for electrical installation in chemical process areas, and NFPA 499 titled recommended practice for the classification of combustible dust and of the hazardous classified locations for electrical installation in chemical process areas. Bath process safety management best practices are as follows. One, we follow all the requirements as documented in the recommended practices for completing the hazardous area classification assessment and documentation. Remember, this is required process safety information by OSHA. Two, we conduct site visits as boots on the ground to ensure all point sources of release are identified and accounted for in the hazardous area classification assessment process. Three, we utilize the best analytical tools when dealing with complex mixtures for determining the hazard radius in class one areas. Four, the contents of hazardous area classification drawings and assessment reports contain the required area classification, material grouping, and temperature class T code or ignition temperature information. The benefits of bath process safety management best practices are as follows. One, the clarity of our hazardous area classification drawings allows facility personnel from the level of electrician to engineer to obtain the required information for selecting new electrical equipment and identifying the installation requirements for the electrical systems. Two, our common sense approach to hazardous area classification assessment applies to operational practices to assigning the hazardous area classification to equipment within the scope. Three, our format for the hazardous area classification drawings and hazardous area classification assessment reports contain the level of detail which allows the management of change process and PHA process to be completed with a greater sense of confidence. In summary, you can tell our benefits rest with the superiority and comprehensiveness of our deliverables. If you or someone in your organization desires additional information or services regarding this topic, please choose the link in this video description or go directly to our website at www.bathpsm.com.